Hello everyone, my name is Rita Valentin. This is the second episode of Women Manifesting Dreams. Aneta, how are you doing? I know you are cold, I'm hot. Uh, <laughs> um, welcome here, thank you so much for accepting my invitation. And tell us who you are and what you do and where you're based. Thank you for having me. It's quite chilly in UK. Uh, so my name is Aneta Bakhtort, uh, originally from Poland. I live in UK for over 13 years. Uh, I do have master degree in careers coaching and uh, another master in management as well. And I've done many, many trainings in my life. Um, uh, at the moment, I'm focusing on uh, emotional well-being because by working with clients, the one thing that I see in my coaching room is the, the emotional problems. And I found that the method, which is called the rainbow method, is based on color psychology and color uh, therapy and science and a little bit of the quantum physics. So it is the purpose of that is to wear a colorful glass to help people with their mental health just for 20 minutes a day so that's a short intro introduction to what I do oh my god color glasses so mm -hmm. explain to us why why you are in that journey what did happen then brought you to this I think that was a big dream and I think that's the big manifestation but it it takes it takes years. It's not something that you can manifest in a month. If you want to change people's life, I think you need to get prepared yourself. You need to go through experience. You need to, you know, as a little girl, I was all, always like into magic and doing fancy stuff, you know. So I think I always wanted to do something special and unique. The uniqueness was very strong in me. So I always wanted, I didn't want to like, you know, I've done so many trainings in my life. And I was like, that's not me. That's not me. That's not me. It is a, is an amazing experience because I, you know, I acquired a lot of tools in my life. So which I use in my coaching now. However, I always wanted to do my own approach, you know, something that is me that will have my name on it. And I will leave the legacy for, you know, for the next generation and something that I've seen that people struggle uh, in their normal life as well. You know, not everyone is ready to go to a therapy, to coaching. So my question always was like, how we can help people, you know, to overcome those mental challenges or just give them a tool or a help that, you know, they would be more open for, you know, for some of us done it like for 15 years, because not everyone is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Who are your people? With who do you work? What is going on with them? I mean, my, my clients, you know, I work with, it depends on the problem, really. It's always it's some emotional background. And because I train in a particular technique, it's a family and systemic constellation that maybe you've seen. Oh, I, I, did, I, I did that a few weeks ago. I did two um, times. I did one in group and I did one alone. And it's amazing. It's probably mm -hmm. one of the most powerful tools and experiences than I ever had in my life. And if you let me share a little detail. Yeah, so please do it. Because you know, not many people know about it. And I think yeah, so, the Netflix now is coming very popular as it. Yeah, I know. I saw in two things on Netflix. I saw on the, the other me. And uh, you have a uh, Gwyno Paltrow have a thing about sex and they have a uh, episode oh, with a, yeah. a lesbian couple and they go, Okay, so I'm 41 mm -hmm. and I became depressed and with wishes of not being alive. And that was what I was talking with you mm -hmm. um, between my 40, my 41 years. So in 2021 was in 2021, beginning of this year was the worst year of mental health of my life. And what we found is really interesting is my mom died when she was 39. Mm -hmm. So in a certain way, the daughter did not know a blueprint of how it was to be alive after that age. And this is not something you get in psychology in half an hour. You need mm -hmm. to, it's, it's impossible to explain what is family constellations. You need to live them. You need to be there. Sorry. I, I always say your, the easiest way, way. Yeah, but your experience is very good. It's like um, it is. It, it is that we we all 
when you know we all follow so patterns the patterns are shaping our lives so between age zero to seven there are emotional patterns that we will be just repeating throughout our life so it is important that what happens between that zero to seven if i will go in the father conversation with you we will find the re then another pattern why your mom died so early because there's a story behind the story. So that I always say those stories are shaping our life and it's proof that in our DNA, we do carry that trauma. However, we can, we can release ourselves from those stories and we can understand, okay, so what we carried was in our DNA. And, I, and for people who are very like science-based, I always say when you, when you carry a baby for nine months and they, when they, through the, the limbic system, this is where it's about, uh, the limbic system is very important for your emotional um, well-being and all the emotions. So you get a lot of this stuff from your mom. So that's it's not that you're coming without any uh, emotional baggage. You actually got got this in your nervous system. So then you get triggered, you know, in your life. So that's that's the reason. And the family constellation is just shaping the 3D map of all the past experience and showing you what would happen and that it doesn't actually belong to you so there's always some emotional attachment to it which is really good to to look at it and and release from yourself from it so i'm glad that you've done it because i've been doing it since 2008 and every time i feel stuck or something i will do a little bit of a constellation and i'm moving forward so this is this is brilliant method yeah it's uh, it's amazing and okay what kind of ways people have to work with you I mean, well, my, I think, like I said, I'm passionate about the emotional well-being. So what I do is one-to-one -one sessions and a group session, it depends. So at mm -hmm. the moment, I'm um, working with small businesses as well. So improving their productivity and uh, by looking into emotional well-being. And I think that this is something important especially after those two years that everyone was in the lockdown, we got triggered. And I was actually writing some article for, for my LinkedIn about like, you know, a stress of appraisal. So helping people at work. But then I still, because of the method that I know, I have a lot of clients who struggle with relationships. So that's, a, that's another kind of thing that I do. Sometimes if someone, you know, just purely because people know the method that I work. And, and I use and they know that it's very successful. So for me, even when you look at the relationships and whatever is not showing up in your life will show in your work and vice versa. But I'm focusing on the, on the work purely because we spend 80% of our life at work. So, you know, all the emotions that we carry, they are very important. So for me, it is important that people feel happy at work and I want people to be successful, meaning that they will receive, achieve everything that they wish for by working with their emotions. Because I've done it and I know how the process works. And there's many tools, coaching tools and therapeutic tools. So not necessary. You actually have to be in that therapy room for three, four years. For me, five, six sessions, then you are, you know, off to go to have your, you know, whatever you want to achieve in your life, you can do it. But, you know, we all have our ways to get us where we want to be. So my, you know, my path, path was like experiencing a lot of tools and finding that, you know, that approach that, you know, I was always wanted to have, which is the, a little bit of a systemic work, a little bit of a recall healing, which is based on Dr. Hammer work. So I don't know if you hear about it. It's something about um, your illnesses. So every illness is the information of your emotional state. So when I work with my clients, I use that as well as a tool, meaning that if you have some... Um, I don't know if you have allergies or you have skin problems or you have some diseases that you know start a few years back or you know you're carrying something from a childhood that's the pure information for me where to look for trauma and where to look for the emotional stuckness so it is for me it's just a little bit of easier to find down the the core because without finding the core reason why we feel this way you know you can do a lot of things and and then you will go back to the same pattern. So it's kind of releasing that emotional pattern within your work and life, yeah. At the same time, because this correlates. So work is life, life is work. Exactly. And especially if you are a coach or a mentor, a healer, where the work is you. Yeah. I mean, if, you, if, if you're a business owner, for example, like if you coaches are business owners, you know, therapists mm -hmm. are 
business owners, everyone who started some kind of self-employed, uh, small businesses, big businesses, you are the business. So mm -hmm. all the emotional stuff will go to your team, will go to your product, will go to your um, uh, clients, you know, everything. This, this can be ma mapped up by family constellation as well for businesses. That's the I one know. thing. But the second thing like is... Like Akashic for... Records, not like yeah. the different, but you can open the Akashic Records for for a house, for a company, for all, for something. It's amazing. There's a lot of tools out there. It's just the awareness, the knowledge that we need to teach people about it. This is the problem that it is still is out there that people are afraid of it or don't know about it. So it's kind of spreading awareness what is out there and having the teaching them the understanding that when you go to work and there's a problem and you feel like your boss is this and that, have a look what was your relationship with your parents, what they are showing you. So this is kind of things that, you know, and then, and then vice versa, if you, you're in your home and you have a partner relationship, what was your relationship with the parents? It always take us to those two, I would say spiritual uh, teachers. Yeah, your mom and your dad, because they gave you a life. And then, you know, they set you for it. However, you know, your job is to release yourself from few things to actually go and live your own life. So when you want to manifest something, you know, manifestation, you can manifest. But for me, manifestation comes with work, meaning you have to work on yourself. I'm 100% with you. I, I, I agree with you 100%. How can people, okay, what is next for you and your company? Or yourself personally. I mean, at the moment, okay. so I, I, I'm, I'm still working on myself. So I, I, I travel a, a lot. I go to different countries and I do different things just to experience because I find it is a fun and I always learn something new and I implement that in my coaching. That's the one thing. Second thing is just to give people more information about what the color therapy can be. Don't like the word therapy, but how the colors can improve your mental well being, meaning that how by using you know, 20 minutes a day, yellow glasses, you can feel more self-confident and how that affects your brain waves. So we're going into a little bit of a quantum. So I'm doing a research self-study as well um, that I will measure the brain waves and the colors and effects. However, I, I do have a lot of research papers. So it's a science base, which is always important for me to actually speak from a, from a, you know, I love spiritual stuff, but I like science. So I put those things together. So for people who come to me and say, well, I don't really believe, then I can put the paper. And I said, actually in 2021, they researched this in 19 something, they researched that. And research means that, you know, there was uh, experience means that that's the knowledge, yeah? So people experience that, they write the research paper or, or books. So it is not the woohoo stuff. Yeah, I know. And especially in Europe, people are much more, oh, I don't want any hoo-hoo stuff. Yeah. But I think it's changing. I feel that people are looking a little bit more to what is there more. Even, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Mexico, so here everyone believes in extraterrestrials, other lives, you name it, everything is yeah. here on the same package. In Europe, it was really difficult for me to connect with my spiritual side to... I will never do Akashic Records readings in my life or even tapping an EFT and believing so much if I did not travel to this side. So how can people find you online? You have an amazing Instagram account and I just follow. I just follow one. I did not have time to follow the other one, but your work is amazing. Me as a, as a social media coach, I, I need to give you five stars. Um, <laughs> how, will, how can they find you? COVID time because you know I was like how I can take how I can use this time and there were so many resources so thank you for that I, I, because you know when you when you train something I was like I'm not going to be a social marketing uh, coach or whatever it's not my kind of cup, cup of tea I said however I like to know things so yeah that's that's a big compliment coming from you so thank you very much yeah. but uh, can you share the links how they can find you I mean, my, if you type my name, uh, Aneta Backthought, you will find only one everywhere online, meaning that I'm on um, on, link, on LinkedIn is under my name. Um, on I've got a few socials on Facebook is Coaching with Aneta. At um, Instagram is Coaching with Aneta. That's the main one. And then Rainbow Method is the another social media one. 
So I do post more stuff on LinkedIn at the moment. Um, I've done some good, I've got done a lot of work on Instagram. However, I feel that when I speak to LinkedIn, it's the different language that I use is more science-based and, and, uh, and it's a mix. So I actually enjoy that one. But I, I believe that, you know, like you said, you manifest people. I think people, people, people buy people, but with coaching, you cannot force someone to work with you. And that's the main thing that people do not understand. In any work you do, you, you need to make interest, you need to make yourself interested to people, your knowledge, your experience. And I've seen a lot of, um, you have a lot of stuff that isn't right there. So I think it's just, you know, if you feel the need with, you know, to work with someone that's that I would say, you know, if you relate with someone, there's always someone else that have the tools for you to move on. Yeah, a hundred percent. Do you, you manifest, you tell, or you told already, do you have other dreams that you manifest in your life? Or do you know what is your secret for manifestation? I think my, I would say that I see, because I haven't done much about the, manifest, the manifestation, like, you know, different programs. I think what I do is... No, what you do not naturally. Yeah, because, but uh, what I say to my clients, for example, when you want to manifest, when you want something from the future, you need to go and connect with that felt sense, meaning that you need to feel it, what you're going for. So Come when on, you yeah. feel, yeah, so you, what do you want? I always ask, what do you want? How do you want to feel? You know, how you, so you kind of do that visualization of, you know, you do write them. I make my clients to write the book, you know, the book of, okay, what well, your future will look like. And I want them go really high, meaning you talk Prada, really expensive stuff because you raise your vibration high. You allow yourself to feel like I'm worthy, which not, not many people do so. So I would say that I will, I will, try to feel worthy of those things and I always have a good intention behind that so it's not about me it's about how I will feel and I know how I want to feel I want to feel happy I want to feel free I want to feel grateful but I want to change people's lives so I manifest and I see myself okay if I'm on that big stage talking to people how those people will feel and how that will make me feel and it's not about like okay because the rest will come you know if you high if you raise the high energy of people it's like a mirror effect we'll come back to you meaning that we usually focusing on money and and money but you know you you need to do something for that money so what do you do if you raise people's vibration so high so meaning that the energy is going your way so you're getting that you know and that energy might come in uh, as the money as the other opportunities so it's just understanding of that you know that felt sense that we need to connect to from the future and bring that here so we know where we're going forward with it but I always like, yeah, emotions are very important, yeah. Perfect. A little message for your younger self. Mm, don't, don't listen to other people. <laughs> Critics, you know, because the, this is what, what I think what affected me the most, other people's opinions. And I, I and and you know and and I would say to my younger self, it's like you you go, girl, you got it. You know everything what you wanted is out there. You just believe in yourself. I think it's just the self belief is very important. So yeah. Okay. Um, to end this, a quote. Do you have one? <laughs> quote. Um, I did, uh, I did one quote yesterday on LinkedIn. So that, that's, I, I would say about potential. If you believe in your own potential, people will believe in your potential too. Meaning that, you know, it's, everything starts with you. Whatever you go in your life, do not, when you look at your people, the people are again, yeah, like your mirror. So whatever you're sending out there is coming back to you. So it's not about other people making you happy, but it's about you. So if you see in yourself the gifts and potential and the skills, because every person in this world is born with something different and whatever, if I'm doing manifestation, you're doing manifestation, then Karen does manifestation as well. We all doing it different way. And you have your own, you have your own pack. You have your own soul group on people that are waiting for you. So you need to shine your life. So I would say, yeah, you need to work on your potential and people will see you as well. Aneta, beautiful. Thank you so much for being my second guest here on Manifest <laughs> Women Manifesting Dreams. Um, I am going to say bye to you properly, but I'm going to say bye to the ladies, to the guys, but to the ladies watching this. Keep living your dream and make it happen. Aneta is a great example of that. Check out her work, it's amazing. 
And don't forget to subscribe, to comment, to share. And I see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.